Hey guys, this is Rocking3, bringing another live commentary, Forza 5. And today I'm going to be continuing my Parts and Tune revisit. Um, however, this is actually not a revisit. This is going to be the uh, first time Honda Civic that I have out here. This is the 97 Honda Civic. And the reason why it's not a revisit is because I was never able to make a really good Honda Civic front or rear wheel drive uh, when I first started playing this game. Now that uh, I've learned what I have about tuning, this is actually a lot easier than what I thought it was. I don't know what I had problems with. And that was awful. Dreadful. I'm surprised it's actually still clean. <clears throat> uh, this is the front wheel drive version of it. And it is actually quite fast. It's actually faster than the Ghost that I have out of here. This is the uh, Toyota GT86. And it does very, very well. It's a uh, 156 on this track, so it's not too bad. I might even be able to catch this one, even though I started off so poorly. He's a good full second ahead of me, but I can actually make that up here in the next three turns. Um, this car out accelerates the GT86 in third and fourth gear. I don't think fifth gear is set up very well. It's a stock transmission. So once you hit fifth, it kind of kind of dies out a little bit. <clears throat> and it's like I didn't make up a great deal of ground there, but we will run another, hopefully another clean lap. Try to beat it again. turn out of there. We'll lose a little bit of speed on this lap, but the, that'll set up fine for the next lap. So. Alright, we see that we're pulling away here a little bit. Dump my right stick on that one. And full throttle. Oh, that's close. Woo! Thought maybe I did it a little bit too soon. I actually did probably a little bit too soon. That wasn't a very good overall turn, but this is kind of the key one right here. I need to make sure I get wide enough and then make sure I dive it in and I messed it up again. I had to let off twice. The key is there to get that a little bit wider so that you can full throttle it through that whole section and keep your speed about 107, 108 miles per hour. We're a little bit faster than the last lap, even though this one's pretty dreadful itself. I will be uh, building out a rear-wheel drive version of this as well. Um, you gain about 10 PI with the rear-wheel drive version, which I think we can probably make it handle just as well. Um, but we'll be able to put a little bit more go fast bits on it. Should be able to pull close to even with this Subaru before we get out of this next bank of turns. Alright, looks like we're going to beat it with a not very good first half of the lap. Since we're even here, I know I'm gonna pull away in third and fourth, so I'm not too concerned about it. And you know what, we're gonna go for broke one more time. I know we got it. Let's see if we can just go for broke here. We go a little bit deeper into this turn. There we go. Full throttle, full throttle. That was a better turn. All right, let's see if we can get through this turn cleanly. I want to see how much time we could make up on this. Turn, 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 turn. It's not turning. It's not turning. And to save you, to see me 
get upset about this. <laughs> um, I will tell you that I put a dirty lap in that was a 205.4, so it's about another 7 tenths of the second faster. I'm actually about a second faster than the GT86. Um, this car has a great potential on a lot of tracks. I'm not sure how the gear ratio is going to work out for everything, um, but this, this is overall is a really good car. So let me give you the parts and tune on that and see if you could improve upon what I've done. I have a lot of faith in this car. It's probably a top 70 car um, on this track alone. And uh, probably on the shorter ones as well, just because it has really good acceleration in third and fourth gear. And we only got up to 149, so we didn't make up too much room there. This car has a lot more in it, as you see how poorly I took some turns. Over to the parts bin. Start with the conversions. We have the stock engine, even though I was tempted to swap over to that other four cylinder. We have the stock drivetrain, and we have the centrifugal supercharger there. Um, I think we only have one, I mean, we only have two parts in the engine here, and it's going to be the exhaust and the centrifugal supercharger so here we have the street exhaust that was the last thing that I added we're gonna have stock everything else except for the supercharger all right we have the race centrifugal supercharger there and everything else will be stock here as well and stock flywheel <clears throat> just to finish that out all right we're going to have the race brakes we're going to have the race springs and dampers we'll have the race front and rear anti-roll bars um, i did try a little bit of a chassis upgrade there but we went down to stock saved us 26 pounds i think that's helping the acceleration numbers quite a bit uh, and then we have the full race weight reduction on there We're going to have the stock clutch. As I said, we're going to have the stock transmission. We have the street drive line. And we have the race differential. We have the sport tire compound. And we have the 225 upgraded front tire width. Definitely want a little more front end traction. And I have the 225s in the rear. And I don't know, going up even further is going to take away some of the acceleration. But might be able to improve some of the handling a little bit. So you could uh, try those other, other wheels as well. We have the uh, lightest wheels here with the Advan RG2s. Gold on black. And this is another one I wanted to play with a little bit, but you see I lose PI right away. It'd be nice to know if this car would respond a little bit quicker with thinner thinner tire walls. Um, but here you see I do not have anything there, so those are both stock. We have the front Forza spoiler. We have the rear Forza wing. We do not have any bumpers. We have a stock bumper and we have a stock side skirts as well. All right, let's go into the tune. Um, the pressure, I usually have these even, but when I went through and watched the telemetry, I had to actually change the fronts a little bit lower. 26.5 uh, in the front, 27.0 in the rear. Uh, and stock gearing, so no changes there. We have the front camera at negative 3.0 and the rear at 2.5. Uh, toes zeroed out and the front angle, angle caster is 6.0. Um, we have this oversteering at 9.02 and 13.21 on the roll bars. And we have this oversteering as well at 295.7 and 411.6 on the springs. And I left the right height to 5.2 and 5.2 just because that track needs a little bit of a height. Um, we have Race Boy 77 settings here, 11.7 .7 in the front and rear. Bump stiffness at 1.9, both front and rear. 
Um, I put the full, full arrow on here, and I've tried this with half, three quarters, quarter, and none, and it doesn't seem to really make too big of a difference. I think it might with the fifth gear a little bit. So you could play with that and maybe leave it at stock right in the middle, and I think it would be just fine. I was just trying to get it to turn in a little bit better, and it didn't seem to want to do that. Um, braking force at 47% and 200%. That's pretty standard for me. And acceleration at 41% in the front and deceleration 35 um, in the front as well. And that's just so I can use the gears to help slow it down a little bit. All right, guys, good luck with that. I'm going to go ahead and save this out there. I'm, I'll uh, call it front-wheel drive C-Class if you guys just want to download it. Otherwise, tune it up. Good luck, guys. Later.